Another big weekend upcoming at Emerald Downs with the Governor's Stakes and the Washington State Legislator's Stakes and Corgi Racing. Here's training for Wednesday, July 20th. Prince Skimming is entered for his second career start this Saturday, July 23rd. The Oregon-bred son of Giacomo from the Ken Person Barn worked 36-2 for 3 8 mile. Another worker is All the King's Men for trainer David Martinez. All the King's Men is an unstarted two-year-old from two-time Emerald Downs winner Andiamo Deb. Workout time 47 and 4 for a half mile. Ice Tower is a juvenile son of Dialed In out of a winning mare by Unbridled Song. The Vince Gibson trainee is preparing for his first career start. Also from the Gibson stable, Man in Black. He was a three-year-old debut winner in June and is set to run this Friday night at Emerald Downs. More from Gibson, here's Coastal King, a four-year-old son of Coast Guard who's coming off his first start here a month ago. He broke his maiden at Turf Paradise earlier this year. Defense wins on sharp form of late for trainer Jim Gilmore is seen working 46 and 1 for a half mile. Defense wins as a five-year-old son of Flatter. Another worker is Zippin' Sevens for trainer Alan Bozell. The four-year-old filly by Coast Guard has been racing well again this season. She worked 34 and 3 for three furlongs. Paisley's pulpit just missed in a good effort here last Friday, July 15th. The Bob Bean trainee is a five-year-old mare by Lucky Pulpit. This is Driveway, a two-year-old filly by Cross Traffic and out of multiple stakes place winner, Private Fortune. She's in the K Cooper barn. Tap It at Midnight worked five furlongs in 105 and one for trainer Kim Johnston. The six-year-old son of Midnight Officer is at Emerald Downs in his first season here. She's a grinder, races for trainer Jennifer Nunley. The five-year-old Calbred mare has raced twice so far this meeting. And that's a training day at Emerald Downs.